guys, this is Nadia from Cognito Forms, and today I'm going to walk you through how to connect your Stripe account with your forms. If you don't already have a Stripe account, you'll also have the opportunity to sign up for one during this process. So to get started, go ahead and open up your form. If you don't already have a payment form set up, I would recommend creating one using our basic sales form template. You can find this form on our featured templates page and also with our sales templates. This template is really convenient because it already has a repeating section labeled My Order. Inside this repeating section is a choice field with products and prices, a quantity field, and an item total field that already has a calculation set up. So if you're building a payment form for the first time, this is a great template to build it off of. At the bottom of your form, you'll notice your payment section. To begin connecting your account, you can either click the Add Payment Account option in the top left here, or you can click the Add Account button from the green bar at the bottom of your builder. Either way, you'll be prompted to choose your payment processor. So go ahead and choose Connect with Stripe. Next, you'll be redirected over to Stripe. If you're already logged into your Stripe account like I am, your screen should look like this. If you're not, you'll instead be prompted to either log in or sign up for a new account. Afterward, you'll automatically come back to this page. All this page is asking is just basic information about your business, some personal details, some banking details, and all that fun stuff. After you take a couple of minutes to fill this out, you're just going to click the blue button at the bottom to officially authorize Cognito Forms to access your account. And that's it! You'll be redirected back to your form builder with the message confirming that your form is connected. In the payment settings, you'll see that the account section is now filled in with your business's name. If you have multiple Stripe accounts, you can connect all of those as well through the same process, but keep in mind that you can only link a single form to one account at a time. You'll also notice that there are now some fields for collecting credit card information in your payment section. These fields are embedded from Stripe, so that information gets sent directly over to Stripe and is not stored in your Cognito Forms account at all. With your account now connected, make sure to save your changes. Last but not least, you also have the option to test out your payment form. To do this, just click the preview button at the bottom of your builder and fill in your form fields. When you get to the payment section at the bottom, you can use one of our test credit card numbers. I'm using a Visa test number, which is just 42 over and over again, but you can find several other test numbers in our testing payment help topic. Next, just fill out some random numbers as your card expiration date and security code and submit your test form. Then go to your Stripe account. If you put your dashboard in test mode with the toggle up here, you'll be able to view your test payments. Now you can see the test transaction that we just submitted. If you click on the transaction, you'll be able to view more details and have other options like refunding the payment or reporting it as fraud. Best of all, once your form has actual live transactions, this information will also appear in your Cognitive Forms entries page, and you can even refund orders from there as well. If you'd like to know more about collecting payment with Cognito Forms, be sure to check out our payment help section.